What's up guys? So about a year ago, I created a video that you guys seem to really love, and that was high paying careers in environmental science. I think now that it's been over a year since that video was posted, we're very much due for a follow up on that video. So today's video is going to be talking about seven more careers in environmental science that you guys should be aware of. If you're new to this channel, my name's Eli, and on this channel I talk about all things marine biology and environmental science careers, the things that are going to help you get to those careers, and also information for careers in the field. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit the subscribe button. But otherwise, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. So real quick, just a little disclaimer for this video that the salaries that I found for these jobs are for American jobs mainly, and they're in US dollars per year. So an annual salary per annum. These were all found on Glassdoor, which is a website that allows people to submit the salaries that they have themselves for the specific types of jobs that I'm talking about here today. So anyway, with that being said, let's go ahead and start with the first up on our list. So number seven on our list, the first that we're gonna talk about is a solar energy consultant. So a solar energy consultant explains solar energy systems and resources to potential clients. So for this type of job, it's actually really important to have marketing and sales experience. As a solar energy consultant, it's gonna be really important to stay up to date with different trends and issues related to current solar energy problems. This this type of information is really going to help you in negotiating with different lending institutions, government offices, and also with potential clients that you're going to be talking to to potentially connect them with solar energy power. Many solar energy consultants focus on residential customers, although some will focus on larger businesses or larger industrial facilities as well. This type of job is extremely important in today's world and especially for environmental science in bringing solar power and renewable energy to more people and raising awareness of about that power to other people as well. This is extremely important in today's world where we are using way too many fossil fuels and non-renewable resources, which are eventually going to put more and more stress on today's societies and environments all over the world. So for this type of job, a bachelor's degree is pretty standard and two years of experience is also ideal. And the main employers for this type of job are solar energy companies. The average salary for this job per year, according to Glassdoor, is $68,454. Next up on our list, number six, is a hydraulic engineer. So a hydraulic engineer designs, builds, and tests hydraulic components and machines. So this could be anything from tractors to excavators to big machines that you might see out in an agricultural field. A hydraulic engineer is gonna be the person that's providing the power necessary for those really large machines to function. This type of job is extremely important not only for agriculture, but also for industry. Those large construction machines that you see at building sites are all designed and contributed to by hydraulic engineers. For this type of job, a bachelor's degree is definitely standard as well as specifically an engineering degree. Within engineering, most hydraulic engineers are often civil or mechanical engineers. The employers for this industry are majorly construction, agricultural, and industrial companies. The average annual salary for this job, according to Glassdoor, is $75,664 per year. All right, so next up on our list at number five is an air quality engineer. So an air quality engineer very simply is going to make sure that proper air quality is maintained. So to do this, they may perform specific tests to analyze and understand what kinds of toxins and chemicals are present in the air. They will use this information to recommend strategies to improve it or to produce different kinds of equipment to better improve it as well. This type of job is extremely important for public health and safety and keeping people safe and making sure that they have fresh oxygen and air to breathe, but also for the environment, making sure that hazardous toxins and chemicals don't accumulate in different parts of the environment or the atmosphere. The education required for this type of job is a bachelor's with an engineering degree and an environmental engineering degree is often preferred. For this type of job, it's very important to be aware of government regulations related to air quality and the most common entities that are employing these types of engineers, air quality engineers, are government, private, and research institutions. Research institutions may employ air quality engineers to conduct specific types of research to better understand better methods and strategies to combat air pollution. The average annual salary for this type of job, according to Glassdoor, is $76,496. Next up on our list, number four is an energy analyst. So an energy analyst 
analyst is a specialist with a very high level of understanding for energy markets. So they are responsible for locating, gathering, and analyzing energy data to provide information and analysis to different entities. This type of job is extremely important in learning how to improve our energy efficiency, which is extremely important nowadays as we're using more energy than we ever have. For this type of job, a typical education level for an entry level position is usually a bachelor's degree, preferably in something related to math, statistics, or engineering. It's also important to have some type of economic and marketing experience to get a better grasp on the trends that are happening in the energy market. For this type of job, there are a wide range of employers in the energy sector, from oil and gas companies to environmental firms. The average annual salary for this position is $80,184, according to Glassdoor. Next up on our list at number three is a sustainability engineer. So a sustainability engineer is gonna be designing and developing projects, buildings, and systems to meet different kinds of sustainability standards. So this could be something like the BREAM standards or LEED certifications, which were built to basically identify something as sustainable. The sustainability engineer is basically gonna be helping in the process of developing a specific product, system, or building to meet those requirements to be sustainable. So this type of job can have a lot of variation in the types of things that a sustainability engineer is going to do, anywhere from designing very energy efficient life bulbs to designing entire buildings and making sure that they meet sustainability standards. So the main difference between an environmental engineer and a sustainability engineer is that a sustainability engineer is focused on the design and life cycle of a specific type of product. An environmental engineer is focused on some of the more large scale things like pollution mitigation or natural resource management. So this type of career is incredibly important in being on the front lines of developing more sustainable products to make our society as a whole be more sustainable. So this type of job requires a bachelor's degree at a minimum with an engineering degree as well. So an engineering certification is also essential to be a sustainability engineer. The average annual salary for this type of job is $81,817 according to Glassdoor. So the next up on our list at number two is an energy manager. So an energy manager will evaluate energy use and design energy systems to increase efficiency and reduce energy related costs. So they may do do this for machinery, equipment, buildings, or physical structures to increase their efficiency in energy. So a little similar to an energy analyst, but an energy manager is going to be in the process of design to improve those as well. So this type of job is extremely important in making sure that we're not wasting energy and that we're using our energy that we have in the best possible way. The education level for this type of job is often a bachelor's degree in engineering, but bachelor's degrees in mathematics, architecture, or physical sciences are often accepted as well for different kinds of positions. Most jobs also often require a certified energy manager credential. This career is often employed by manufacturing companies, but also colleges and universities that are interested in increasing their energy efficiency across their school. The average annual salary for an energy manager is $87,379 according to Glassdoor. So number one on our list, we're finally here. This is a water project manager. So a water project manager is going to supervise projects related to water or wastewater treatment programs. So a water project manager is involved in the supervision and management of different water or wastewater management systems. They make sure that there's efficient use and delivery of water and make sure to monitor water quality, water supply, and the distribution system. This is probably one of the most important of all the careers that I've mentioned today, and that is because it is involved in the management of our most precious resource in the world, and that is water. More important than ever, it is to conserve the water that we have and get it from sustainable resources, and also to make sure that we're using it as efficiently as possible. So this is an extremely important role in an environmental sense, especially because we're now running out of water in certain areas of the world. Just a few years ago in South Africa, they actually had a scare where their reserves ran low enough to cause them to restrict their supply to the entire city. This is a massive issue and a very scary reality that we're coming to in some parts of the world. So this type of job is extremely important in making sure that we're making the most use possible in the water that we have. So for this type of job, most people have a bachelor's degree and a substantial amount of people have a master's degree as well. Previous experience in managerial roles is also preferred because it is very important role and you're also a water project manager you are overarching other people 
so it's important to have managerial experience as well. The average annual salary for this type of job at the highest and the last of all the ones that we're gonna talk about is $87,430 according to Glassdoor. So those are all of my new careers. I hope that you guys like them. I know that you guys really loved that last video that I put up, so I tried to do a lot of research and put a lot of effort into this one as well. So I hope that you guys found it valuable and I hope that you liked it. If you wanna see more videos like this, please let me know in the comments below. Please let me know any other ideas that you have of different industries or different things that you'd like to see as well because I love these kinds of videos but otherwise I thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for all that you've done for my channel I cannot believe we're almost at 6,000 subscribers when at the beginning of the year I was under 1,000 and that video is now over 150,000 views which just blows my mind but otherwise thank you guys again and I will see you in the next video thank you guys